Welcome to Inspire on the Go. This season, we are focusing on growing together. It's exciting to know that we can grow in our relationship with Jesus and friendships with one another. Daily, as we abide in Jesus and invite His Word to abide in us, spiritual growth takes place in and through our lives. So what does growing together look like for you in your life and ministry setting? Grab a cup of coffee and join the conversation. Hey, sweet friends, it's Andrea. I hope that your day is off to a really great start today. I am having a great day. I wanna tell you just a little bit about my day and then I'm gonna explain why you may hear some road noise. I have spent the day at Washita Baptist University. I love going to the campus of Washita or Williams uh, and just really immersing myself in the culture, in the campus, in all of the things that are happening. We are so fortunate here in Arkansas to be blessed with two wonderful uh, Christian universities and all of that's a part of Arkansas Baptist life and I, I just praise God for that. I am driving home um, after a full day of ministry at Washita and I want to tell you a little bit about what was happening there on the campus. I had the opportunity to speak in two different classes, uh, one in a worship arts class and another one a Christian ministry class and we talked about women in ministry and I'm so thankful that God gives us opportunities to share our story and as we share our story with other people they're encouraged and we're encouraged I'm telling you what I'm driving home from uh, Washita with such a passion for the Lord with so much excitement in my heart so thankful for God's good work um, in in being patient with me and loving me and calling me outside of my comfort zone you know when I go back and I share just my story and uh, all the all the different ways that I fought the Lord I am reminded of his mercy and his grace and so I, I just encourage you to go back and think about your story and think about all those times that God just he was gracious and he was loving and he was patient uh, and he was kind and and we can celebrate that together I want to give a shout out to Sherry Edwards and Carmen Lane for joining me in the second class uh, as we just had the chance to share specifically about our uh, our call to ministry stories uh, also about just some of the different ways that we're currently serving in ministry and then we had this beautiful opportunity to speak into the lives of the young women in the room who are sensing call to ministry and then also the young men who are sensing call and it just it left me grateful it left me excited I don't know if you realize it or not I don't know if you've heard but there is the beginning of a move of God in this next generation uh, we are seeing many students come to faith in Christ. We are seeing many students who are being baptized. Uh, it, it's happening on our college campuses. It's happening in our local churches. And, and that is just something to stop and, and do a couple things. Number one, just to praise the Lord for that. And then number two, to just pray. I mean, to seek the Lord's face for spiritual revival and spiritual awakening. And that is why I'm coming to you today. This is going to be a different type of podcast. Not only am I driving down the road as I visit with you, um, I want to take time as, as a group of women to seek the face of God, especially as this is the week for Inspire. And we just want God to move. We just trust God to move. We need God to move. Uh, we are desperate for him to move. And so I thought it would be so meaningful and so um, intentional if we took time to pray together uh, for God's movement, for his, his power, for his, his call upon our lives and on the lives of others. And so I'm going to take just a couple of minutes and I'm going to pray. And then I'm going to ask you this week, my friends, to pray every single day for Inspire. And I'm going to attach to our show notes some prayer prompts that you can pray uh, every day. And as you have those prayer prompts, um, I just want to encourage you to take a few minutes and seek the Lord and, and, and ask for His move and to trust Him to move in our midst. Um, I'm so thankful that we can talk to the Lord. I'm so thankful that prayer is not a monologue. 
where we just inform God of all the things that we think he needs to know or be reminded of, but it is a dialogue where we both express praise and um, petitions and confessions and thanksgiving, but it is also a time to sit before the Lord and to listen for his sweet reply and to um, soak up his presence. And so even as I'm driving down the road, I'm so thankful that, that moments like these can become sacred, holy moments. And so as I pray, I ask you to, I invite you to join me. And then also, I invite you to continue this prayer process in the days leading up to Inspire. So Father, we come before you this day. We proclaim what a mighty God we serve. You are faithful. You are good, Lord, and your plans are good. And I thank you for what I've just experienced with this next generation. Such an openness, such a surrender, such a hunger, such a trust, Lord, in who you are and how you faithfully work. And, and Lord, that that is just good to see. Lord, in a, in a day and a time when the news is hard to watch, uh, days like today remind us that you are in control, uh, that you are on your throne, that you are raising up the next generation of leaders, God. Lord, I ask that as we come to this uh, very important week before Inspire, that you would do a work in the hearts and the lives of women. God, I pray that you would bring women to inspire, that even right now you would stir hearts to register and to come with expectation. Lord, I pray that you would um, bring people with a spiritual hunger. Lord, they may not even fully understand it, but that they would be so hungry for a move of your spirit through their lives, Lord, that their, their hearts would be just soft and, and, and changeable and, and moldable, God, to your plans and your purposes. And Lord, we just ask for that one, one woman potentially, or the many women who are going to be coming to inspire who do not know you. Lord, we pray that that, that day will be their day of salvation. Lord, that you would break through the unbelief, that you would break through the fear, that you would break through the chains, Lord, and that they would come to a saving faith in you, Jesus Christ. We pray for the woman who's not flourishing, who quite honestly is just barely keeping her head above the water. Lord, I ask that she would find you to be refreshing, that she would find you to be satisfying, that she would find you to be fulfilling, Lord. Uh, God, that she would thirst for you and that she would learn what it means to abide in you and for your word to abide in her, Lord, and that her desire, leaving Inspire, will be spiritual fruit, fruit that lasts, God, fruit that brings glory to you. God, I pray for Tara Dew as she's coming to teach the word. I pray for Holy Spirit anointing. I pray for Holy Spirit empowerment, Lord. I pray that she would know there is so much freedom uh, in following your leading, Lord, that we want to hear from you and that we know, God, that she's she's prepared, that she's prayed up, Lord, that she is um, going to be ready. And so, Lord, just just pour out your power during that teaching time. Lord, I pray for Corey and Stephanie Epps. I thank you so much for their gifting. I thank you for their willingness, Lord, to come and to lead us in worship. God, and I pray that every song and every word, Lord, would just remind us of who you are, God, that we would see your presence, that we would sense your power, God, and that our hearts would be stirred because we're worshiping you. Lord, I thank you for our ministry project. I thank you for the work of Deeper Still Arkansas, a ministry that is committed to um, ministering to abortion-wounded hearts. Lord, I pray for any woman who's going to be in that room who has that se has a secret. Lord, whatever that may be, who may be experiencing shame, I pray that 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 at Inspire it will be that fork in the road moment where they are willing to look at their past, that they're willing to get honest about it, that they're willing to deal with it, Lord, that they're willing to be transparent so that you can bring healing and so that you can bring hope so that flourishing can happen. Lord, I pray for our connection group times. I love that part of our day, Lord, and I know you do as well. That part of our day where we get to connect with other women 
God, where we get to be real, where we get to be honest, where every single woman who will be at Inspire will be seen, heard, loved, and valued. I pray, God, for divine encounters, divine appointments, divine friendships to be established during that time. I pray that the right people would end up in the right rooms with the right, uh, uh, you know, friends, God, and that the time would be sweet, Lord, and that the relationships would be real. And Lord, I just want to thank you so much for First Baptist Church Russellville for their willingness to open their doors to us. God, thank you for their hospitality. I pray that you'd pour out uh, your blessing upon them. I pray, God, that you would go before them as they're preparing. Uh, God, that every single detail will fall into place. I, I pray the same thing for our Inspire leadership team. Thank you for their hard, hard work. Lord, I pray that they would enjoy the day. I pray that they would be blessed by the day. God, I pray that we wouldn't get lost in the details of the day, but that we would soak up the, the, the word that you have for each one of us. And Lord, I just want to finish by praying for that woman who right now is on the fence. She's not sure if she's going to commit to the day or not. Lord, would you just encourage her to come on to inspire, to come with expectation. Maybe she has to come in fear and trembling, Lord. Just whatever it takes to break down those barriers and to break down those walls and for her to encounter your love. God, that's what we're asking. That's what we're praying for. So, Lord, move according to your will. God, pour out your power. Lord, bring revival. Then, Lord, send us back to our homes and our churches and our communities, changed and transformed because we have met with you. God, and we just right now, from the very beginning, we give you all the praise and the glory. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, sweet sister, thank you so much for your faithfulness and praying for Inspire. Thank you for registering. Thank you for coming. Uh, I do want to pray uh, as well just for everybody's protection and traveling and protection from any kind of um, sickness that, that may be going around in the days leading up to Inspire, that the Lord would just put a hedge of protection around us and that he would get us there, that he would speak to us, and then he would send us home thoroughly equipped in his word. You can find out all the details for Inspire. It's hopefully not too late to register, depending upon if our tickets have sold out or not. But all of that information is available to you at absc.org slash inspire. Remember to check out the show notes for daily prayer prompts that you can begin today praying uh, so we can make sure that we're seeking the face of God, seeking the heart of God as we uh, approach Saturday, September 23rd at First Baptist Church, Russellville. Thanks so much, friends. See you soon. Thanks for listening. I hope today's episode helps you embrace the full, free, abundant life that God provides. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to Inspire on the Go. If you would like more encouragement to help you grow in your faith, visit my website at andrealennonministry.org. Come back next time and enjoy another episode of Inspire on the Go.